Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process that you can use, the same one that I've used, to start an online business from scratch. And you can use this framework to take this to six figures and beyond, and finally leave that nine to five, so you can focus on serving other people with the things that you're passionate about. I've used this same process and framework a few different times for my own businesses and for my own offers, as well as for other businesses as well. And I've kind of distilled everything down into this step-by-step -step framework that I give our paid clients in the Founders Program. But today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through sort of the, the overview of it so you can apply it for your specific situation. Again, I'm using this same process and the same framework myself to build our current coaching offer and take it to you know seven figures and beyond. So if you want to follow along on this journey as I document the whole step-by-step -step process of us scaling our coaching business to seven figures and beyond, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see on this channel. All right, before walking you through this step-by-step -step process, I want to give a few pitfalls and warnings to watch out for. The ones that I've fallen into and the ones I see others falling into as well. And the first one is trying to chase things that you think are easier or that will make more money or that will somehow provide this magical passive income while you just hang out and do nothing. Chasing these delusions, um, I've gone down every business model path you can imagine. I've done social media marketing, uh, drop shipping, e-commerce, had physical products, did Forex, real estate, like you name it, I've done it and I've dabbled in it. I've lost tons of money doing that. And in my opinion, when it finally clicked for me, was focusing on the things I was already excited about and figuring out how I could turn that into a service to serve other people with. So at the time I was a tattoo artist and I was tattooing full time, I was in art school, then finally business school and working in a tattoo studio, helping that studio open more locations and with their marketing and stuff like that. And basically all packaged everything I was learning and doing up into the, the world's first online tattoo education platform called Tattooing 101. So my first coaching consulting business was tattoo education for professional artists and shop owners. And we grew that to more than 1200 clients and customers all over the world without ever spending a single dollar on paid advertising. So looking at it on paper, you've heard of e-commerce and drop shipping and Forex and all these like buzzwords, right? But no one at the time was doing this tattoo education online. In fact, we were really kind of, uh, harassed online and received all kinds of threats and craziness because it was something nobody was doing. But the reason that it worked and that we got traction is because it was something I was genuinely already excited about. So every business model has its ups and downs and some are more crowded than others. But if you're genuinely excited and motivated to talk about a topic, then you're going to excel at it. That's, a, that's my number one takeaway from doing this stuff is find the things you're already excited about and build a business around that. That's the only way you're going to have traction and succeed long term. Okay, rant over. You get the point. What we're doing here is taking that thing that you're excited about and that you're passionate about and going out there and trying to design ideally a high ticket offer, a high ticket coaching or consulting package that you can serve other people with. The way that I do this and the way that I encourage my clients to do this is to go out there and follow you know, our process for doing market research and conducting customer interviews. What you want to figure out is where is somebody in their journey on the same topic that you're excited about? So where is that, that point A? That they're starting at and of course the next question is what is the point b where are they trying to get where are they going from a painful state over to a desired state your offer is going to be the vehicle that sort of bridges that gap and takes them from pain over here to gain a few other questions you can throw in there and ask are you know what's the motivation behind trying to get to this ideal state to this gain right this this ideal outcome for this topic what are the obstacles preventing you from getting there on your own what are the things you've tried in the past to get there? Whether it be courses, coaching programs, degrees, whatever, whatever. What did you like about those solutions? What didn't you like about those solutions? Why do you think that those solutions didn't get you to that outcome? So on and so forth, you get the idea. When I did this for my first coaching offer, Tattooing 101, I had more than 300 of these interviews, right? So I went door to door talking to actual tattoo studios and apprentices. Um, I had a little tattoo blog at the time. I was surveying those guys, uh, reaching out to my email list, you know, you name it, like everything I could do to kind of get data to figure out like what is the actual state of the market. That's step one. Go out there and conduct market research. We can craft what we call a cold traffic friendly, compelling offer that you can price between $2,000 and $10,000. Step one. Moving over to step two, you want to build a sustainable client attraction system. If you see my other videos, you know, this is taking somebody from you know top of funnel, getting attention, middle of funnel, nurturing that attention, and finally bottom of funnel, converting that attention to a paid client. 
in the shortest amount of time possible, right? And so it's going to be what is your acquisition strategy? What is your sales and what we say like setting strategy? So how do you go out there and find your ideal audience and take them through this funnel, top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottle of funnel, and convert them into paid clients? When you're first starting out, it's easy to overcomplicate this process and think you have to be running you know, thousands of dollars on paid ads or have 10 different funnels or have email nurture and follow up sequences and all these different complexities. But when you're first starting out, I really, really encourage you to start with organic traffic first. Number one, if you're brand new, you don't have the, the testing budget to profitably run paid traffic to get the data necessary to correct things. And number two, you have no idea what your messaging is going to be. So the easiest way to find what the messaging is, is to go out there and kind of have this hand to hand combat of organic outbound conversations, right? So starting conversations and getting kind of in the trenches to figure out what's the language people are resonating with, what are the calls to action that they're actually taking action on, so on and so forth. So organic first and foremost, but again, once you start getting a little bit of traction, don't overcomplicate this, have one strategy. Don't try to be omnipresent on five different channels, just pick one. Instagram or Facebook are great places to start. Now, finally, once you have this traction with organic, we can then have our proof of concept, right? So you've been out there and you've sold, let's just say 10 clients organically, doing manual setting, taking the calls yourself, having the conversations, you've converted 10 clients, beta clients or, or, or full price clients, doesn't matter, but you sign 10 clients into your program organically, now you kind of know what the market's resonating with. Now you probably have your program built out and you've made some cash from those organic clients to now put into systems and paid advertising. So in phase three and beyond, this is all about scaling, right? This is plugging in your systems to accelerate the growth you've already achieved organically. Talked about paid traffic, automations, systems, and probably your first few team members, an assistant coach, an appointment setter, and then pretty soon a closer as well. So to recap, it sounds really simple because it is. It's going out there first and foremost and having targeted conversations to figure out what is the market already being exposed to? What are they seeing, hearing, thinking, and being led to believe by your competitors and by the industry at large? And moving into step two, how can you craft that into a compelling offer and dial in a single organic sales strategy? How can you take somebody from unaware all the way to solution aware uh, with your marketing, with your content, with your conversations so you can serve them at that deeper level? Moving into, into step three, now you're talking about scaling the business, taking what's been working organically and putting some ad spend behind it to grow this thing up to as big as you want it to be. I've used the same process and framework without the paid ads, you know, launching a brand new offer with no audience, um, no list, nothing at all. And we did $36,000 in new revenue in our first 14 days with a brand new offer as well. So same process that we teach, same one that we use and the same one that still works right now. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions at all, make sure you leave a comment below or follow me over on Instagram where I post pretty much daily. And if you found any value in this video whatsoever, please make sure you like and subscribe so I know what you want to see more of in the future. See you next week.